Now to a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. A local nonprofit animal shelter is in desperate need of help. The owner of Hope for Life Rescue in Virginia Beach tells us because of a misunderstanding over state regulations, the shelter needs several expensive changes. Reporter Ali Weatherton shows us how the community is stepping up to get some of the work done. Its name fits its mission, the Hope Center. The nonprofit gives a second chance to dozens of cats and dogs. We take the worst of the worst. The Hope Center takes animals from places like public shelters. And just like those shelters, the Department of Agriculture is required to inspect private adoption places once a year. It's always a random visit. It's never announced. And this year wasn't any different. She wrote a lot of things up that we were not compliant with. Owner Pauline Cushman says, as new regulations put in place back in August of 2016 were a shock to her. She didn't realize she needed to make significant changes to follow the updated code. We were aware of the paperwork part of it and we did that, but we were not aware of I guess we don't know how to interpret the law is the easiest way to say it. And renovating the rescue isn't cheap. It'll cost around $40,000 by the time it's all said and done with. We had to set up a designated isolation room where no animals could go into unless they were sick. We also had to set up a neonatal room. And that's not all. They need to move outlets and even upgrade the HVAC system. Thanks to a GoFundMe page, they have raised a lot of money and have started fixing up the space but they still need help. Need about eight or ten thousand dollars more to get across that finish line. She's hoping the public will help her with renovations before the inspector comes next year. In Virginia Beach, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.